Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Held Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you've seen and if you want to see more. Coming up in today's episode, the Brisbane Broncos signed two for 2022 and beyond. Controversial centre wants return to top flight rugby. But first, Lee Radford wants to continue with classy cats. So like many of the clubs in Super League, we begin with Castleford Tigers' um, change of coaching as they announced that Lee Radford was going to be taken over as the new head coach for 2022, midway through the 2021 season. And Radford has said uh, George Lawler and Joel Westerman will play as big as a role as fellow new arrivals like Jake Marmo, Beretta Farimamo, uh, Mahe Fanua and Kenny Edwards in helping Castleford carry on entertaining next year. The Castleford Tigers had that reputation under Daryl Powell and his successor has added plenty of try scoring punch to a side in the backs. Like Marmo who scored 17 tries in 23 games for Warrington in 2021 and for Remo as well as for Noah who he worked with both at uh, Hull with. Um, going back to the cast, classy cast, uh, Monica seemed to be the main aim of a Daryl Powell side. Meanwhile they've uh, Radford has also added uh, Kenny Edwards the Kiwi second rower recruited on a season long loan from Huddersfield who has a reputation himself for an off-the-cut approach. But Radford has also brought in Leeds duo uh, Callum McClelland and Alex Sutcliffe and signed Sui um, Matagi after the Samoan props loan on uh, loan for at Huddersfield and has said that ex Hull met KR man Lala and ex Hull man Westerman, who's back at Castleford after his second, uh, for a second spell after a spell at Wakefield, will also prove a crowd pleaser. They are forwards who can do the hard stuff but can play a bit as well, he said. I think cast reputation for a fluent brand of rugby goes hand in hand with the pitch and we'll be aiming to use it and our experience of it to our advantage. Radford, who took over last month, says he's enjoying being back in the game after a 19 month absence since he parted company with Hull. He's working with former Hull assistant Andy Last, who spent last season at Wakefield and is also an assistant coach of England and also Danny w uh, Wilson, the England academy coach. England Knights strengthening and conditioning coach Adam Whitney is also performing that function for Castleford and Radford explained they are all a big part of what we've been doing and I'm pleased with the progress we're making. They will have the option of a short break over, the, over Christmas I'll bet with individual programs to follow at home. Then we'll get back together and start the countdown to next season. It's safe to say that Radford is setting up his own post at Castleford and also stamping his own mark on the team and the way that they play, but knows the history of Classic Cats uh, throughout the years where they have renowned as a ball playing team, sometimes to their own detriment, but if they can stifle that and go that one step further. They could be a real force in Super League, especially with the announcement of the developments and uh, funding that has come in from the Rugby League uh, Resilience Fund. I'm not sure that they will be at their most potent during the 2022 season. I think we've got to look beyond that for it's a progress. It's a work in progress. Bradford is a good coach, but has only got one trophy to his name as um, a Super League coach. Being that it's a cha uh, Challenge Cup, but has never really had a really big crack at Super League due to some say inconsistent uh, performances from its teams. But 
Though he has been making his boxing debut recently, the exiled NRL star Tim Simeona could make his way back into rugby league. The 30 year old is said to be desperate for a chance in either hemisphere and he had previously been linked with Toronto, both Pike back in 2020 and Hull KR according to uh, Zero Tackle. But since his indiscretions that led him to be deregistered by the NRL, Simeona is currently working with disabled children and he insists that he is no longer the, the same person who made a series of indiscretions which, apart from his betting scandal, also included cocaine use and ripping off a child's charity according to the Daily Telegraph in Australia. And he is said to be determined to make it big once more in the world of rugby league with Simeona uh, management having preliminary discussions with several NRL clubs as well as uh, picking, piquing the interest of Super League clubs in the Northern Hemisphere. However, any interest in the NRL franchise would have to be lodged an, applic an official application and it would have to be approved by the Australian Rugby League Commission following the West Tigers past indiscretions. Asked by the uh, Daily Telegraph in Australia if he was chasing a rugby league return, Simeona said, Yes, I am. My heart has always been with footy, and to get back to the NRL, but that's the dream. I feel like I've served my punishment, and I've learnt from my mistakes. But at the end of the day, it's out of my control. Simeona has been playing for the Manly Sea Eagles feeder club Blacktown in 2021 he, and he can play anywhere across the back line. In his boxing career though it took a hit, more than figuratively, because he lost in the third round uh, to a stoppage against um, his opponent, who was it, Aaron Coco and the doctor's stoppage coming late in the third of the fourth rounds. But that aside, it isn't the first time that he's been looking to be re-registered as a player. As in two, December 2017, it was revealed that so, uh, Simeona was attempting to resurrect his career in England with Hulk Rovers. Um, and also Toronto Wolfpack showed a little bit of interest in the player, but both clubs were told that Simeone's uh, contract could not be registered as he failed to meet eligibility requirements. In June, General Man uh, Perth General Manager Phil Gould appro formally approached the NRL about taking the player um, to getting his clearance to be a welfare officer for the NRL's community outreach program. Gold spoke to the media and said he, um, regardless of any future opportunity he returned to the NRL, Tim is doing his best to make him up for his past mistakes. He's, he does believe that players do get a second chance and so did former teammate Bo Ryan. In 2019, it was reported that uh, Simeone was preparing a formal bid to overturn his indefinite ban from the game. It was revealed that Simeone was preparing to meet with the <laughs> Rugby League Players Association. And on July the 4th, the NRL approved his application to return to the game, this time for Blacktown, the feeder club of the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. And on the 13th of July, Simeone returned to the field for the first time in over two years as Blacktown defeated South Sydney 30 points to 22 at ANZ Stadium in the Canterbury Cup New South Wales competition. He also played a season with the French Elite One Championship Club, uh, Les Ignana Sangliers, for the 2019 and 2020 season. So, despite his uh, foibles off the pitch and uh, the package that comes with that, he has looked to do the right things to get back on it, has applied himself, went away and played in a different environment twice, 
over the last couple of seasons. Uh, he's at Blacktown at the moment, but if he's showing his potential that he is a red and he's ready to come back to top flight rugby league, whether it's in the Northern South Hemisphere, could be an interesting signing for someone. Um, during his time in the NRL, he played uh, 79 games for the West Tigers and 5 internationals for Samoa. And that was over a 5 year stint. Well, I have to. Tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me if he deserves this chance of being in the top line, or has his indiscretions been too much previously? Getting back into the properly. And finally, today we have a look at the Brisbane Broncos. As for the first of two signings, is teenager Xavier Wilson, who um, Willison, uh, who has extended his contract with the Brisbane Broncos for another two years, committed to the, to the club until the end of 2025. The barnstorming prop, who's a member of the Broncos Academy since he was 15, was already signed until the end of 2023, and now has extended that with the Broncos for another two years on top. The 19-year-olds went on to score his first NRL try following uh, the... Take two. He made an instant impact in his NRL debut, in just in the tw round 20 win over the North Queensland Cowboys, charging in for six hit ups with just 14 minutes on the field. The 19 year old went on to score his first NRL try the following week against the Newcastle Knights, as well as making 14 tackles in a 17 minute burst off the bench before another impressive effort in the narrow loss to the Roosters running for 68 meters from seven hit-ups in just 17 minutes on the field. Across his three NRL games, Willison made 32 tackles and did not miss one. Willison, who captained the Palm Beach um, Cumberbin, uh, Curabin SHS to the Alan Langer Tr Cup Trophy in his final year at, at school in 2020, also impressed this season for the Broncos affiliate, the North Devils, in the Intertrust Super Cup, averaging 97 metres running and 17 tackles made per game. He has been working his way back to full fitness after rupturing his ACL, um, which cut short his 2021 season, making good progress to return to running in recent weeks. Broncos head coach, head of football, Ben Ikin, said uh, Javier uh, came into our academy as a 15 year old from New Zealand and has all the necessary attributes to have a long and successful career in the NRL. His work ethic is exceptional and his mental toughness is in the elite category, as has been evident by his commitment and professional approach to his recovery from knee reconstruction. Javier has made his NRL debut in round 20 this season and is one of the most exciting young forwards in the game, so for him to make an early commitment to the Broncos for another two years is significant. The second signing that uh, the Brisbane Broncos have announced is that they are excited to bring the contract to outside back De Lewis Halter, who has been upgraded to a top 30 NRL contract for a train and replacement contract uh, for the 2020, uh, 2022 season with the Broncos. The 27 year old, who has played seven NRL games for the West Tigers back in 2015 had a standout 2021 in the centres for the Bronco affiliate Wayne um, Manley Seagull, uh, Seagulls in the Intertrust Super Cup, crossing for 11 tries in 20 games as well as racking up 10 try assists and 66 tackle breaks as his team reached a grand final. 
on this signing, the Broncos uh, head of performance, Ben Ikin, said, Ben Lewis is a great example of why you should never give up on your dreams. He came to the Broncos looking for a chance at 27 years of age and grabbed it with both hands. I'm excited to see what he brings in 2022. Alter began his uh, playing career with the West Tigers, uh, starring with their NYC team in September 20, uh, 2013. He was named as a junior Kiwi training squad, but missed the game two to injury. In February of 2014, he resigned with the Tigers on a two-year contract. Coach Mitch Porter was excited with the uh, outside back, whose understanding and anticipation was going to happen. Uh, what's going to happen is an exceptional uh, way that he plays rugby league and is looking forward to see how he progresses. In 2014, again, he was named for in the Junior Kiwi training squad, but once again missed out through injury. In 2015, Halter again uh, graduated to the Tigers New South Wales uh, Cup team. And in round four of the 2015 season, he made his NRL debut for the Tigers against the Canterbury Bulldogs. In October of that year, he played for Tonga against the Cook Islands in their 2017 World, uh, Rugby League World Cup qualifier match. And in December, unfortunately, he was released from his final year of the Tigers um, contract. But he carried on playing Rugby League with uh, Banks Ville uh, Blackhawks being one his first stop in 2016, then on to the North Devils in 2017, and then signed up for the Manly Seagulls uh, for the 2018, which he's been playing with for the last few years. Never give up on your dream, eh? For example. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to please like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide so we can get the word out for our rugby league friends, family, and brethren to grow our wonderful game. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are on the three stories today. Um, will Classy Cass still be a moniker that we can associate with the Tigers for 2022? Um, Good signings by the Broncos? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, do you th I think there's one with potential, but the other one more for the now and backup, to be fair. It's an interesting story to know. And finally, our third story today. Will a controversial NRL player get back to top flight league, whether in the North or Southern Hemisphere? Well, he's been playing since 2018. If it's good enough, she could be picked up. See how what's happened. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to stay safe. All the best. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.